In this video I show you how to bring an element, your I element or framework element uh, to the top position or the, to be visible in a, a WPF application. <coughs> First in this application I have a window and there is a grid inside there. That's the grid and this grid has three rows and then the second row this will, there will be uh, loaded some user controls and <coughs> when you have a user control in there then the the stuff always is uh, will only be visible as soon as uh, in the range of this uh, of this hay of this um, grid hay so a row hay so this row has the hay uh, about 30 pixels and when I click on there there should be it should be possible to see that uh, yellow frame, but we can't see that. As you see there, uh, it should be open, and but this stuff is not visible. And this is because <coughs> because that stuff is uh, that element is uh, grouped or inside a row, and <coughs> you may do uh, some. Uh, set index uh, there or they're doing some other games but uh, this won't work so uh, this, there's no way to bring um, a, a, uh, an element uh, to the upside now I show you another way um, there, this is the this is my grid which I wanted to show you this the yellow one now I am take that out and show you first um, pop-up element a pop-up element will always be visible so when I go there and say okay <coughs> I'm just changing this one so the pop-up will be visible when we go in there and it will be away when we, we go out of there. So this is now uh, the same element. When I click on there, there is the, uh, this pop-up element visible. And when I leave the element, it's not visible anymore. That's because I, I've written. So, but the point is, if there's some, some elements in here, this uh, pop-up will be overlaid uh, uh, to all that stuff. A second uh, possibility is to take um, either a menu element or either this pop-up element and inside the pop-up element I have a list box that's what you have seen there and we are controlling this stuff by is open false or uh, true and this will be uh, over, over rendered on that point or will render above all other uh, items now when I there's uh, two other uh, possibilities to do that one is uh, the combo box when we take a combo box and now we have the combo box. No, not this one. The combo box is not in there. It's called menu. I told it it's menu there. So that's it. And here now. That's the other point. When we have those elements here, uh, they will they will be visible when I drop in there. And when I click on there, the control itself also has inside the con uh, the control. It's like a user control uh, inside. There's also a pop up on there, and so you may click on there. But uh, as you see on there, when when you when we take a list element, you may insert list elements in whichever you, way you want uh, they may be different um, like any like like the pop-up itself but then now this is uh, maybe bound uh, you may bound this on a data data values or on a table but um, the point is that there is a pop-up inside and there's a base element and when you want to change this stuff then you need to change the uh, the style setter of this uh, of this point and the fourth element which I'm not showing at the moment here is you take instead of the uh, instead of the pop-up you may also use um, a menu element and con menu context element uh, 